Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunger Games Legacy Challenge. This is episode 4. We are picking up the morning after the last episode. I think I actually ended it um, before the morning, but yeah, anyway. So, Sorrel is taking motherhood quite hard. Her little boy woke her up very early in the morning, and this is what she looked like afterwards. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, let's get going. So, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning right now. Oliver is going to have to go to work soon. I think in this part, they're going to go out and maybe get engaged. Um, you know, I just feel like they have a baby now. And not to say that, you know, you have to get married after you have a baby, but I feel like in this society it may be looked down upon. I don't know. Uh, you know, to not be married uh, if you have a child. So Sorrel's going to cook some pancakes for breakfast so that Oliver does not have to eat leftover waffles. I want you to quit work. Please quit. I decided that we're going to put Oliver in a different career just because um, the firefighter career is so much work. Um, really, it's just, it's just there's way too much work to it. Um, so we're going to take him down to City Hall and maybe maybe he could be like a We could get him the gardening skill and then he could be like a gardener. I'm just trying to think of a career that um, they would have. Because, you know, in the Hunger Games book, uh, people had careers like coal miner. And, of course, we don't have anything like that in The Sims. However, that would be pretty cool to, you know, get him a career, like, there were bakers, there were coal miners, we're not going to make them bakers, uh, or anything like that, because, uh, they're such a poor family, they wouldn't have a bakery, uh, they live in one room, or, I guess three, but, you know, they all live, they all sleep in one room, they don't have a living room, anything like that, so, yeah, um, so I think he's going to become a gardener, like, with his wife, and she's going to start taking care of the home more, and he's going to garden. So right now, he is going to, no, not you, he's going to rock with Kale while Sorrel makes breakfast. And I think they will have their next child soon. I feel like uh, Sorrel and Oliver are going to have quite a few children, um, even though it's going to be hard to feed them. She made some grape pancakes for breakfast. She's going to call her husband to meal, to the meal. I'm gonna have to get rid of his camera too. But um, she's gonna do stuff around the house, like put away the leftovers. Um, she's going to brush her teeth, take a bath, and then go back to bed because she's tired. She'll get up when Kale needs something. And you are going to go outside and harvest. Don't clean those up. You have to clean those up too. So when he gets um, one skill of the gardening, we're going to put them in the gardener career. How are you doing in your career? Pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, um, it's been a while, it's been a while since I played this game actually. Whew. Uh, it's probably been about three weeks, I think. I actually just did a Create a Sim video, which should be coming up soon, which I'm really, really excited about. I don't know, you might have already seen it. I haven't really decided when I'm going to, uh, upload it yet. Uh, why do you have a car? Anyway. So, yeah. 
I, that was pretty fun. It took a long time. Um, it was a big creative sim, though. Okay, so they're going to put the tomatoes in their um, refrigerator and probably the grapes as well. And then they're going to sell everything else. Eventually, they're going to have to get a um, fence around their garden because there are people that would steal it, I think, in this town. Alright, you got to get up, feed him, snuggle him, play with him, snuggle him. No, don't give him two bottles. Snuggle him again. Oh my gosh, she's sleeping late. I guess her baby did wake her up in the morning, though. She's still really tired, too. Okay, Oliver has got gardening level one, so we're going to take him into town and register as a self-employed gardener. Why aren't these showing up? All. I have no idea. Okay. So let's go back to Sorrel as she takes care of little Kale. We're probably going to age him up in this part. He has one day until he's aging up anyway, though. Um, and if you don't remember, he's insane and he loves the outdoors. He also loves Geek Rock, uh, Firecracker Shrimp, and Black. So yeah, they have 27 days until they become... Um... Uh, adults, gosh. Okay, he's going... Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay, so... From this career, garden's land must... A garden blah, blah. Gardener's land becomes a valuable and delightful harvest. Not content to just consume this fine produce, a career-minded gardener cares about selling quality goods and staying on top of the food chain. Uh, responsibilities include earning money by selling harvestables that you've grown. And yes, we're going to accept. So, he wants to garden. We can definitely do that. Do we have a, I doubt we do, an elixir shop in this town? Yes, we do, actually. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but if you can, I'm, I apologize. Um, you need to change his diaper, too. Mm. Mm, I hate that about the rocking chair. Okay, um... So he's here. We're gonna get him to come out here, smoke the box, harvest the honey, smoke the box and harvest the honey, um, grab this gecko, do all that good stuff. Why can't I go down anymore? Oh, there we go. Okay. So there we go, and then we're going to buy. Oh, apparently we've already been here. Okay, I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, but apparently he just got a promotion to Dirt Digger, which is guarding level 2. Okay, awesome. We're going to sell that gecko. And then we're going to come in here and sell some of this stuff. We're going to sell um, our white caps, red valen roots, mandrakes, pep. No, we're going to keep our seeds. Um, root, beans, honey, beeswax, honey, beeswax. And we're going to use potty and go home. What are you doing? She's just really tired, I think. 
So she's going to change into her everyday and come in here and serve some autumn salad. And then make the bed up again. Is Oliver home? Yeah, okay, he's gonna go take a bath. Make the bed, clean that. No. And then go grab a plate. What do you need? You're gonna be hungry in a few minutes, but it's okay. She'll be good by the time you're hungry. Okay, now she's going to come in here and snuggle Kale, give him a bottle, and snuggle him. And then Oliver's going to come over here and get something to eat and go to bed. So I think I'm going to pick up in the morning, guys, because there's not much going on. So I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, guys, so Oliver's just waking up. And he's going to go use the restroom and eat some leftover pancakes. Um, Sorrel is still asleep, but when she gets up, she's going to eat some waffles. And then, or she's going to take a bath, wash the dishes, and then eat some waffles. And then we are going to age up Mr. Kale because it is his birthday. And I want his parents to be able to go do something tonight. So we're going to age him up early. Um, and they're just going to have to pay for a babysitter. I think because they um Oliver wants to propose oh a horsey oh, I love horses <laughs> I love horses in this game everybody does not like them and I love them they're like my absolute um favorite don't wash dishes just come play with your little baby boy oh if you could hear that oh hi horse that was um, steam. Sorry about that. So go take your bath. This room. Turn on all lights. Then you need to make the bed. And then we'll have Kale's birthday. And we'll take him into create a sim and look at him. Even though he's going to look like his parents. There's no doubt in my mind. We're actually going to age him up now, I hope. Okay. Yes. Yeah, um. Sorrel's going. No, no, no. Come in here. Come in here, Oliver. 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 Okay. Birthday party. Awesome. Yay, Kale. He's so tiny. He's such a burrito baby. Oh my gosh. That's really funny. I love how people call them burrito babies. I think it's really funny. <clears throat> so, she's going to get some autumn salad. Oh, there's Kale. With his eyes. Wow. Okay, so we're going to take him into create a sim and give him a little makeover. It shouldn't take very long. We're going to put that on him. Yeah, see, he looks just like his parents. I mean, the dark hair and gray eyes. Yeah. And now, I don't remember if I addressed this, but... um. You know, they're not going to look correct for the descriptions of the districts in the books. However, I just, I'm going to keep it, whatever. Um, oh, he's a cutie. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we're going to actually make his shirt like the color of his mother's clothes, mother and father's clothes, just because they wouldn't have, you know, cloth or cloth to make him anything new uh, we'll make that blue though even though that looks kind of weird and I don't like that no they found some new cloth for him 
So, you know, we'll make those gray so he has a little bit of gray clothing. And yeah, he he'll have some shoes, but we'll put the socks on him during the day. And then he'll just have shoes for his formal wear, which he will never use. Um, we'll put him in this little thing. And then we'll put him in this. And we need the blue gloves instead of the pink ones because he's not a girl. Not that there's anything wrong with putting your male child in pink, but, you know, blue's boy and pink is a girl. Although, I think if we have money, I'm going to make him a yellow nursery, but I don't think we're going to have enough money. Um, don't eat that. Yeah, I get some cake. Cake is good. Alright, so let's try to buy a couple toys for little Kale. He doesn't have anything to play with. Um, we'll put a xylophone in here and one of those. There you go, little Kale. So go play with your xylophone. And then I think his parents are going to go out after she changes his dirty diaper. And he told her dress nicely, and she's like, well, what does that mean, you know, like... Like, she's wondering why he's taking her out and asking her to dress nicely, and... So this is Oliver's formal wear. I don't think you've seen it yet, because he hasn't gone anywhere formal. But there it is. That was also his reaping clothes, so... They love this dang rocking chair. So she's going... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's going to come and ask her on a date. Oh, and there's Sorrels. I think you've seen Sorrels, though. Sure, let's hang out. Okay. So they're gonna go. That's like a little kids' park. Um, what is this? That's the graveyard. Let's not go there. Oh, let's go here. This is really pretty. Go here. With the date. This is gorgeous. Call babysitter. All right. Oh, what? Why do you have a car? Whatever, I'll get rid of it later. Sorry about that. I'll get rid of it later. So she was like, oh, this is really pretty. What are we doing out here? So he's going to come over here and compliment her appearance. And give her a kiss. And flirt with her. Sorry guys, I will be right back. Guys, sorry about that. I had a phone call. You probably heard it. I apologize. I usually don't pick up, but it was something I had to t take. Alright, um, so yeah. Let's go back to this. He is going to give her a hug. And yeah, he's gonna even give her some yeah, pure white flowers. He wants to kiss her. So go ahead and kiss her. Stroke her cheek. Embrace her. And propose marriage. Oh, we're in a tree. Okay. She's like, what? Ooh. That's so cute. Alright, so they're engaged. I might just have them have a private wedding because I don't think people in District 12 would have real weddings. 
Oh, I have to get a picture of this. This takes so long. I want to see his face. He's like, oh god, you're heavy. Oh, why are you so heavy? Oh. You're heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's scary. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. Okay. Alright, so they are engaged. Yeah, they're, they are just going to have a private wedding. Right here. Actually, we might go on this little bridge because I think that would be super cute. Super, super cute. No, you're not having a bachelor party. I can promise you that one. I need to say, made some money. <laughs> Have private wedding. This is a nice spot for it too, so I don't feel too bad for them. At least they have this. At least they have this. I love the Sims faces when they get married. They're so happy that they look terrible. Like, let's see if we can see one of them. Look at Oliver. Cute. Uh, Oliver and Sorrel, they better. Oh, they took Sorrel Wayfield Harkins. Ah, oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, they're Sorrel Wayfield Harkins. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so happy. Uh, garden, yes, no. You're not going, nope, you're not going to get a bachelor party, I can tell you that much. Buy a stroller, nope. Nah, nope. And just make out with him. And then you guys can go home and end your date. That was fun, thanks for taking me out. You're welcome. Okay. No, we're not going to France. <laughs> Do you not understand that you guys are not allowed to leave? Oh, car. Oh, lots of seeds over there. Anyway. Do 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 do. Going home in the big lemon. Look, look at their little baby. He's been heckled. Oh my. Mm -mm. No, no. She's gonna put her flowers up here. Leave it. Oh. Um, Bobo. Your parents about to make you a sibling, so you might want to go in the other room. There we go. So. Sorrel is going to get pregnant again. I want the kids to be sort of uh, similar in age, so they're going to go ahead and have another kid. Baby Jingle? Yeah, there's a baby Jingle. Okay, guys, so we're going to end this part here. It's been quite the part, so I think it's just time to end it. Um, it's, it's been, you know, lots of stuff happened. Uh, there was a wedding, an engagement, a baby jingle, a birthday. It's been quite the part, I think. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, you know, give me a comment, rate, subscribe, anything you want to do. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. But, um, that'd be awesome if you would. Thank you, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.